If this is your first time turning on your computer from FreeGeek, then you will be greeted with the system configuration screen. With this tool, you will be able to set up your username, password, and preferred language. The first thing your computer will ask is what language you would like the system to be in. This will affect not just the system configuration, but the entire Linux Mint operating system that is installed on your FreeGeek computer. I'm going to select English, but there are many different languages for you to choose from. If you don't see the language that you need, you can feel free to use the mouse wheel to scroll down or click on the bar on the right hand side to move it up and down. Once you've selected the language that you need, click continue. The next thing your computer will ask is what type of keyboard you have. The default keyboard is the English United States QWERTY keyboard. All systems from FreeGeek use this default layout, so you can ignore the screen and click continue. When your computer asks to connect to the internet, we suggest that you do not do that at this time. The way that Linux Mint sets up its settings means that you will need to restart your computer before you're able to do anything else, including connecting to the internet. So we suggest just waiting until after you have restarted your computer before you attempt to connect to the internet. Next, your computer will ask what time zone you're in. The actual city doesn't matter as much as making sure that you select the correct time zone. If you are in Oregon, then you will choose the Los Angeles time zone. If you are not in Oregon or any of the Pacific Standard time zone, you can click on a new time zone to select where you're at. Once you've selected your time zone, click continue. Next, your computer will set up the primary user for this computer. None of this information will be transferred to the Linux Mint team, so you can feel free to use your actual name or you can make up a name. When you fill out your name, the fields for your computer's name and username will be automatically populated with something similar to your name. If you do not like your computer's name or your username, you can feel free to change them by clicking and highlighting and typing in whatever text you want it to be. Next, you need to type in a password. Note that this is the password that you will need every time you turn on your computer and any time you go to make any system-wide changes like updates or installing programs. This is a very important password and without it, you will not be able to access your computer. So make sure it is something memorable and something secure. We recommend passwords of at least eight characters and including a number or two. You'll notice that when typing in your password, Linux Mint will give you an update as to how strong they think your password is. This password should be at least of fair quality, but more is better. Then you need to type your password in again in the text field below. You could choose to have your computer automatically log in every time you turn it on, but we don't recommend this for security reasons, and it helps you remember your password if you have to type it in every time you turn on your computer. Once you're ready, click continue. Your computer will then go through the system configuration, set up the new user, and make sure that it is ready for use. This could take a few minutes, so just sit tight until your computer is done. Like we mentioned earlier, before you can get full access to your computer, we recommend restarting it to make sure that everything is functioning properly. To do that, navigate to the top right corner of your screen and locate the power button. If you hover over it, the word quit should appear. Click on it and select quit. Then you wanna click on the left hand button that looks like a circular arrow. This is the restart button and will restart your computer so that you get full functionality for your computer.
After your computer is restarted, go ahead and click on the password box and type in the password that you created during the setup of your system. Then press the enter key to log in. Since this is your first time logging in, you should see the welcome window pop up. On the left hand side you'll see a few bits of information that we recommend that you read. This primarily includes the first steps. Here you'll learn a little bit more about how the Linux operating system functions and what things you can change easily. When you're done reading, you can close the window by clicking the X in the top right corner. However, this window will appear every time that you turn on your machine. If you don't want to see it every time you turn on your computer, make sure you check the box in the bottom right hand corner. I'm going to uncheck this box so that it doesn't appear the next time I log in. Then I'm going to close the window with the green X up in the top right corner. At this time we recommend connecting your computer to the internet and performing system updates as well as a few other things to make yourself comfortable. To find out how to do that, make sure and check out our other tutorials. Thanks for watching.